sure they see it in them terms. Put the deaths in the deed box and try not to kill them. Hello and welcome back to Bat Magic Game. In today's part, we are going to first actually head over here and see if we got some stuff. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Better eat something before we take off. Come have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> Seem chipper, but where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And we've been thinking about our problem all wrong, all wrong. I will meet you guys over there. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best... Keep moving. <laughs> we are at Mr. Warbrow's house right now. So let's hit our horse up against the house back here. So let's go to the front. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. 
No przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the nah, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <coughs> Where is it? Oh, oh no. No, no. <coughs> Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Przestań. Jak? Nie, nie. But, but I have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Very valuable. Good? Not good yet. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Don't even speak English. I need. I must eat. Proszę. All right. Okay. That should about cover things. And this is how you truly kill a deer. Come on. Now. There we go. Sorry, Jack. You okay? How did you get on, Herr Morgan? 
Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you see. Okay, let's see what's next. Let's go see Thomas Downs. Meet you guys over there. Okay, now we're at Mr. Downs' house. Do you want? <coughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm. I'll. Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please, please show some compassion, please. Drowse told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? We took your word. Now we'll take your hat. Please. Please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> Then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. 
bad. People who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Something ain't right with that. Well, that will be it for today's episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. Arthur? And share for more video. Until next time. Farewell. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton.